Did you know you can listen to airplanes and air traffic towers using a mobile radio? It's a cool feature that you may not know about. Today, we'll demonstrate how to set up the Anytone 578 UV3 Plus mobile radio for AM airband receive. With this feature, you'll be able to listen in on air traffic and stay clued in on what's going on in the skies above. But before we get started, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest ham radio content. Let's get started. So we have our 578. I've got it plugged in and connected to an antenna. So go ahead and turn on your radio. We'll wait for it to boot up here real quick. Perfect, here we go. So go ahead and click on menu. And we are going to scroll down uh, go to settings, perfect, and you want to go to radio set, and we're going to scroll down to other func or other function. And underneath here, what we want to do is scroll down to AM air slash FM, and we're going to go to the AM air A. Now the A is going to be your VFO A, which is this top one, and the B is your VFO uh, B, which is this bottom one down here. So we'll put it on A for now. There we go, perfect. So we are rocking and rolling there. Now we also probably want to change the analog squelch level, uh, which is right down here, or the AM squelch level. If we don't do that, we're going to hear uh, basically a constant uh, noise level, and we want to get rid of that. Uh, so here. Typically, it will come set to AM squelch one. And as we can see, we probably don't want to hear that. Uh, that way, you know, we can dist distinguish when something comes through. So we are going to set that to analog squelch or AM squelch two. And that gets rid of all of that. Perfect. So at this point, we can back out. And now at this point, you would enter your frequency. Uh, so the internet's a great thing nowadays. You can actually Google your local area if you have an airport nearby and find out what frequency they are using. You can also try, you know, just changing through the frequencies to find one uh, or scanning. You may be able to scan them. Uh, but what I typically do is just have a look online. I found out the tower here is 128.2, uh, and then you can just hit the pound sign on the keypad to fill out the rest of the zeros. Perfect, there we go. Uh, so we are now listening to the air traffic control tower at the uh, MCI airport just a little bit uh, kind of southwest of here. Now there's one other cool thing you can do because if you just do it this way you have to go back into the menu to turn it on and off which can be a little bit inconvenient. So what we can do if you go here to menu again and we'll scroll down to settings once again. Uh, well this time we're going to go to radio set and key function and let's put it on P4. We can scroll down to, I believe it's FM radio. Now, there we go, perfect, we have that selected. Now, it seems a little bit counterintuitive because we're wanting AM, uh, but this is actually where that is stored. So now, if we press this P4 button, it will cycle through all of the options, either off FM radio, that would be like your local music radio stations, the, the air band uh, for VFOA or air band for VFOB, and then back to off. So there you have it. And now we're going to wait for some air traffic. And there we have it. Now we can listen to air band communications on our 578 amateur radio. How cool is that? My father and I used to use a little AM scanner to listen to these air band communications, and now I can do it from my primary radio. And that's all there is to it. You should now be able to tune your radio in to air traffic control and listen in on airline communications. Yeah.